Tropical forests and grasslands have provided many species of fungi that are delicious. Mushroom cultivation therefore restores the connection with nature and the fruits of the earth from where scientists seek answers and solutions. The results of research on mushroom cultivation puts beyond doubt that mushroom species possess potent medicinal and nutritional properties. There's a growing awareness now that the consumption of mushrooms is entirely not the preserve of the rural community, but can, on a wider scale, improve the health status of the whole nation. How would you classify mushroom? Is it in a class of its own? Mushrooms belong to a group of organisms known as fungi. Like fungi, they don't have, they don't synthesize their own food, but they depend on the substrate or the material on which they are growing to feed on. Now there are about 10,000 different species of mushrooms. 5,000 are known to be edible and 1,000 species known to be medicinal. We have over 1,800 species that are known um, to be poisonous. There are various varieties of mushrooms. We have the tropical mushrooms and we have the temperate mushrooms. We would base our discussion more or less on the tropical mushrooms. Now mushrooms are a very nutritious group of organisms. They are known to contain about 30 to 40 percent of protein on dry weight basis. They contain um, all the nine essential amino acids needed by the human body. They are known to be very low in fat content, between 1 to 8 percent. They are rich in carbohydrates and fiber, therefore making them a very ideal food when it comes to roughage. They are also known to contain a lot of medicinal properties. In fact, it's been found out that there are 300 known medicinal properties of medicinal mushrooms and the varieties that we talk about are varieties that can be grown locally in Ghana. Mushrooms obtain their food from complex organic materials found in dead or living tissues of plants and animals, such as agricultural crop residues, wood of dead trees, and others. They grow on dead wood of specific tree species and shrubs, like the oil palm. The variety we're going to talk about is Ganoderma lucidum, known locally as the monkey seat mushroom. Now this mushroom has been worked on all over the world and it's been found out that um, it's good for hypertension, hypotension. It's also good for heart ailments. It's good for um, rheumatism, gout, and so many other things. Now this mushroom can be grown locally. We have another variety known as the tuber regium, locally known as fool. And this mushroom is used for underweight in babies. If babies are not growing well, uh, at the young stage, they, you put this mushroom in water and use it to um, smear their bodies at various regions, and it helps the babies to grow well. We also have mushrooms um, known as a white girl mushroom, and this is good for white leucaria in, in girls. And we have also the oyster mushrooms. This is good for... Um, hypertension and for headaches. We also have the domo, the local mushroom, which is good for um, colds, influenza, and various viral diseases. Now, mushrooms have been known to be medicinal, like I said, and they have been known to be very specific in terms of its influence on enhancing the immune system of the body. It lowers down the pressure and also has definite effects on bacteria and fungi. One of the very important reasons for growing mushrooms is the fact that mushrooms can be grown on wastes. We use wastes such as um, cocoa yam peelings, yam peelings. We use waste from rice. You can use rice straw, rice husk. You can also use maize, maize stover. You can use maize cobs. You can use water hyacinth. In fact, that is a debatable issue, but it is used in other countries for growing mushrooms.